the main interview room by the winner of the Oscar Robertson Trophy. That's the U.S. Basketball Writers Association Player of the Year, Zach Eady, and the president currently serving from the athletic, Brendan Quinn. Brendan? Thank you, Mark. Four more days, and then I'm, I'm out of here. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Brendan Quinn. It is an honor uh, to be up here representing the USBWA, a organization with 68 years of history, covering a game that we all love. Um, it's also an honor to be up here with Zach, who I imagine is getting tired of, if there's such a thing to be tired of winning awards, I think Zach has to at least be testing the theory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think I speak for all writers when I say we have run out of ways to describe your talent and your stature and to celebrate um, what you've given to the sport of college basketball. Um, perhaps even more impressive than those attributes and all the awards and all the stats um, is the burden upon Zach that goes mostly unseen. Uh, being the face of college basketball is beyond demanding, and it's hard to imagine anyone doing it better than Zach Eady. Uh, last week in a story by my colleague, uh, your teammate Ethan Moore said this of you. Everybody wants to be that guy. But there's also a lot of stuff, he did not say stuff, that comes with it, and nobody gets that. I don't think people understand what he has to deal with and the weight he carries on his shoulders. He has a master's degree in dealing with stuff. Um, Zach, you were also on the stage last year, a double dip, AP Player of the Year, USBWA Player of the Year. Um, but this year feels so much more fitting because you are here with your team, you are here with your uniform, uh, and you are ready to play in Purdue's first national semifinal in 44 years and potentially lead the Boilermakers to their first national championship in school history. And he will do so as a two-time Oscar Robertson Award Trophy winner. Congrats, Zach. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to say anything? Yeah, say anything for me. It's been a, a great year, uh, not only for me personally, but for me. Uh, for Purdue, uh, like we, we we've had a great year up to this point. I can't complain. Um, kind of the way I'm, I'm so proud of my teammates. The way that, that they bounce back this year. Um, the way that they like you, you say I have a weight on my shoulders, but they, they do too. Um, like let's not get that mistaken. Uh, and the way that they've kind of handled that, and the way that they've they've um, succeeded in that role. Uh, I'm super proud of them, and the, like, I wouldn't be here without them. Uh, they, Braden's helped me so much, like, like, like everything. Like they, they give me room to work in the game. They give me that space. Braden sets me up. Like, um, I'm, I'm so proud of like the way that, that they they responded from last year. And, and uh, obviously, we're we're here and we're still playing. We still have, we have still have more games to go. Like we're not done by any means. But um, just up to this point, like I, I, the way that they responded, like like grown men, um, I'm so happy for them. Just a housekeeping note, if you'd like to roll video on this press conference, it's one of the news conferences where you can do so. So feel free to do that. If you have a question for Zach, please raise your hand. Let's go to Adam, and then we'll go to Matt. Zach, Adam Zagoria from NJ.com. Congratulations. Um, I just want to ask you about NIL stuff. I know you've been doing some posts with this DAPS um, uh, social media post. Can you just kind of talk about how easy it is for athletes like you to maybe make some money doing those posts and you know when do you do them like before games after games how do you take the time to do it and just your overall thoughts on on nil benefiting players like yourself well i'm, I'm probably a bad person to ask about that uh, just because the uh, since i'm a, a foreign student uh, obviously i have those kind of like nil issues and uh, uh, visa issues um so I, like, like i'll try to do some stuff when i when i can uh, when i'm back in toronto i'll try to do some stuff um like obviously, I can still do like jersey sales and stuff while I'm here, like the, that passive income stuff. But it's not like I can, I can like go film a commercial in, in West Lafayette. So I don't, I don't think I'm the best person to really ask about that. Let's get Adam a microphone for the fellow. You were able to do some of those DAPS posts when was that? Just when you were in Canada, or when you yeah, were here too? Just when I was in Canada. Yeah. Do you think it's unfair that international students can't benefit from NIO? Yeah, uh, for sure. I hope they change it in the future. Um, I think 
they obviously have lost out on a lot of money this year. Um, but like at the end of the day, like I'm not. It, it needs to change for sure. Uh, I understand kind of the legal process takes a while, and, and when you're actually trying to change like a, I don't. Like it's not like it's an NCAA rule. Like it's an American law. Um, so when you try to go about changing that, I understand it takes a while, but uh, yeah, I do think it needs to get changed. Two quick ones, and then we'll get Zach to practice. Matt in the back of the room on the left. Matt Noylander, CBS Sports. Zach, you were the best player in the sport last year. You're the best player in the sport this year. Was it more difficult getting to that point a year ago, or was it more difficult sustaining it and what you've been able to do over the past five months? Um, well, I mean, both seasons presented their own kind of challenges. Obviously, like last year, um, like last year, we kind of came from that that team that no one expected anything from. Um, like we weren't supposed to make like if we made a tournament last year, it was going to be a good year, and then kind of have all the success that we had um, in that season. And then for me, to have that personal success that that, like, that was a big challenge. I like, kind of just um, like, I'd never been in that, that that focal point of an offense role, so kind of being in that last year and accepting that. And, and working out all the problems that come with it um, was the challenge. And this year, it's just kind of been like like playing with that that like everybody like everybody wants to play against me. Everybody wants that to play against me. Like I got that target on my back. So kind of accepting that that as it's a it's a privilege to have that. Um, like they don't they don't do that for everybody. Um, you know, like only great players and great teams kind of get that target. So kind of accepting that um, and then like dealing with that and then some of like the like the other stuff. Um, it, like they, like I said, they both kind of ch like they both really presented their own unique challenges. I don't know if one was was harder than the other. Final question up front. Zach Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. I understand the frustrations with NIL for you, and that doesn't sound fair. I'm wondering what kind of deals you've heard of that your teammates have been able to capitalize on. Some things that you maybe think you've passed up. Just some of the cooler, funnier, more interesting NIL deals that you've seen that you maybe wished you could have been a part of? Um, I mean, I kind of just try to stay out of that for the most part. I have like, kind of my age to deal with that. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a basketball player at the end of the day, so that's really what I'm focused on, um, especially when I can't even like make the NIL deals. I don't I only want to hear about them, um, to be honest. Um, so it's just kind of like I haven't really heard about too many of them. So I try to stay away from that. We'd like to thank Zach and congratulate him once again. Two-time Oscar Robertson Trophy winner Zach and Purdue will be headed out to open practice in just a few moments. Thanks, everybody.